So today's Daily Dose of Leadership is a little reminder to stay alert in the chaos. We have recently returned from a Chilean adventure. My husband, stepkids, and parents and I traveled 5,200 miles to Santiago, Chile, where my daughter Mason is studying abroad this summer. And in addition to seeing her over the course of our time, we also planned some fun day trip. We planned a weekend on the coast, time exploring Santiago, and then some trips to other fun locations nearby. One of those such places was the Port City Valparaiso, which is about an hour from Santiago. It had been recommended by lots of people. So we loaded up our rental van and headed there to explore. And honestly, I was a bit anxious about it because Mason, who's the only one in our group who speaks Spanish well, was not with us. She had a school project, so I was anxious about communicating and navigating the city without her. But always up for an adventure, we went anyways. And very quickly, our plans went south. Just after a quick stop to overlook the city and get some photos, we found ourselves on a quieter street. We'd passed a little bakery, so we were looking for a place to park when a man pulled up beside us shouting something in Spanish and gesturing. Well, none of us knew what he was shouting, but he was pointing to our tire on the rental van, which was completely flat. So my husband pulled over and was beginning to look for a spare tire when a man appeared out of nowhere, again, speaking Spanish and gesturing. And we couldn't understand him, but it seemed like he wanted to help. He even brought my husband a jack. So they got to work on the car and then another guy appeared also shouting and gesturing and oh my gosh, there was all this chaos. And suddenly the original helper grabbed my mom's purse and took off in a car. We think the original guy who told us about the flat. But anyways, he took off. And so all of us were completely rattled. And while my dad and my husband managed to get the tire changed, it left all of us feeling violated and skeptical of anyone else who asked to help or who spoke to us that day. So while there are so many leadership lessons in this story, one thing I've continued to think about is the impact of engagement and performance in chaotic environments. Because these men created a chaotic environment, shouting at us, giving us things to do, continuing to push us away from the car and our belongings, we didn't have the full headspace to show up in a helpful way in that situation. Brene Brown says that clarity is kind. And the story is a good reminder to remove as many of the chaotic elements from our environments as we can. Only then can we get the best from our team. So here's to clarity and to calm. What a great way to take care of ourselves and each other.